Star Wars is the only thing that you can also make it very dirty, like the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't my favorite joke. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like, do you want to play with my lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gin, uh, not Gin and Tonic. Uh, not hangover. Gin and Tonic, dude. It's <laughs> Hangover Comedy Podcast. See, now people in the comments are going to be yelling at you, too, because I tend to do it every episode. <laughs> every episode, dude. I this always episode, say that. By the way, this is episode 10. Our first, the, 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 the double Ds. Episode. Double digit. We got the double, double Ds. Ds. Double Ds, yes. Right. Ooh. I mean, we got yeah. double Ds in the house, man. Technically four. You know, I got two. So yeah, There you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, I, well, apparently, so cool. like, actually, everybody has them. Even guys have them. It's just like they're just a lot smaller, you know. So, yeah. Are you are you are you making fun of flat chested people? <laughs> Kevin, is what's happening right now? Are you making fun? <laughs> like it's there, but it's just pressed down. <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, we yeah. have a very very special guest here for episode. Very 10. special, um, uh, not a guest, more like uh, a regular comedian. A very regular uh, stand-up uh, comedian from a, from the transgender LGBT community, which is great. Mm-hmm. This is Ooh. the first podcast with uh, you know. It's so rare to have a transgender comedian. You know that it's very rare. You don't see that happening ever. Like mm-hmm. you just get you get you get you brag about oh my god, you got gay people, you got lesbo people, we got transgender people, bitch. What are you gonna do about that? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Don't don't brag about that. We we take it on another level. But yeah, Serene is in the house. Serene uh, C, let's go. Woo! Woo! So Rock, thank you guys. Cat, thank you guys. I love it. I love it. I love the cat earphones. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you. <laughs> she right. always has that in the head. I don't even and 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 I've seen her without the fucking uh, thing when she does live shows. I'm just pissed off that when you do live shows, why don't you have it? <laughs> Live show? Why do I have it? Like, like yeah. Most of the time, I have it. Yeah. Well, you do a lot of live shows, right? So, just saying, like, I've seen oh, you yeah. live. So, you should wear that and then do it. It's gonna be epic. So, oh, Wait, wow. you on stage, you want her to wear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Headphones <laughs> yeah. They're supposed to be for the computer. I don't okay. care. <laughs> okay. It looks weird. good. It looks good. What should I like bring up <laughs> my, my USB microphone on stage too? Like what's you can't tell you can't look at me, Kevin, and be like, that's weird. That's, that's, that's weird. A, I don't that's know. A compliment. Anyway. You look at me and telling me weird. Wow, dude. What is this is what's happening right now. Is she having a fucking drink? What are you drinking? A beer, yeah. <laughs> so you know what? Okay, okay. I take now I it's take... a hangover comedy podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the real talk now. Yeah. It's now it's the real talk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The drunk bar yeah, talk. The best. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> so, Serene, before we start with, uh, just tell us something about yourself uh, for the audience, for the people. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Serene C from Malaysia. You know, uh, currently I'm in Bangkok. This background you're watching now, I'm in Bangkok, <laughs> you know, slightly north. You know, and yeah, I was stuck in Bangkok for two and a half years, and this is what happened to me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> right? That's so, a... for 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 the guys who are watching, you know, please be careful. You come here, you either fuck, fuck one of us, or you become <laughs> one of us. <laughs> one of us. One of us. <laughs> one of us. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So, all right. So, uh, how long have you been doing comedy, uh, Serene? Uh, right, uh, I was a cabin crew before this. Uh, let's start. Oh, with, really? Uh, yeah, I start with. Let, let's start with. I I was grew up from the orphanage home. Once I leave the orphanage home, I, I work into star cruise. You know the cruise ship mm-hmm. for a year. Mm-hmm. When I finish a year there, then I became a cabin crew for eight years wow. nearly. And then when the COVID came, no more cabin crew. Then here I am. That's where I start my comedy. It's been uh, one and a half years now. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. 
Oh, you started during COVID? I didn't know that. I felt like you've been starting forever, though. Wow. You oh. wait, wait a minute. You mad? You asking that cat? I'm all questioning the cabin and crew. Do you know that pays a lot of money to fucking be a cabin crew? Do you know the amount of payment you get for being a fucking cabin crew? You get free mileage. You know, you get free mileage. You fucking travel the world, right? You don't get shit in comedy. <laughs> oh yeah, like like you get business class too. It depends on who you are. If you're if you're this, Russell's yeah, people, man. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. You get to <laughs> hang out with the pilot, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They, they, they this plane. Fun, Sorry. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the female cabin crew loves to sleep with a pilot. That's why the other word for uh flight deck, you know, flight deck crew, is called flight a cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've used, I've, I've seen that phrase like tossed around a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cock, yeah. You got the word cock and pit right there, the same sentence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Yeah. So, so you've only been doing it for a year and a half. Doing yeah, it. only for a year and a half. Wow. And, you know, uh, it wasn't actually, it's just what I found out about my. Um, skills my my passion as because you know when i was young in school i was I, i was the boy who always get punished for for you know insulting people's uh, religion making I, i would say making fun because my intention is to make people laugh not to not to put them down you know right so it's right. like yeah why your religion is like that why 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 do you need to cut your dick skin you know when i was young you know <laughs> like you question all of this stuff you know like what you don't why you don't eat beef this come on this is the greatest thing steak i ever can ha- i can have a had you know why don't you guys agree <laughs> so i got into a lot a lot of trouble a uh, teacher was punishing me you know right yeah and then i stopped it uh, i thought it was a bad thing until i was given a chance to to do it again no i do it on stage you know everybody gets to hear it <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so good and the material seems really tight i thought you've been doing it for years though that's that's why i was so surprised by that so yeah and for those of you who don't know serene has you know writes really good material like really good material. She's, she writes really she's a great writer and oh. a great critic <laughs> great job. i know Thank this you. because she gives me feedback Wait, hold on. Uh, wait, wait, but I... also, also a great Yoda impression. I got, I brought, I brought my Yoda shirt. So. Oh yeah, Yoda. Oh, mm, great, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, wait, I gotta get my fucking stormtrooper. Wait, I gotta get the helmet thing. Wait, oh, wait, I'm like, I think it's my baby Yoda. Hold on, right here. Baby Yoda, yeah. Baby Yoda. Mm. I started so, comedy when, when the first time I met you and Shady. Yeah, the first time when I met M Shady was the time I when I started. Yeah. Oh wow! So you started in Henry's room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I I think we all met through uh, Henry's. We're doing. We're mentioning his name a lot in the podcast. I know. I know. Oh <laughs> yeah. Like a sponsor, right? Sponsored by International sponsored House by, of yeah, Comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yet sponsored, but but you know, would love the sponsor. Yeah. I, he's he's also a porn director. You know that, right? <laughs> really. Yeah, gay gay <laughs> porn director. So yeah, that's why he's hiring me. You know, please come for the workshop. You know, writing <laughs> workshop. We can write a lot of stuff. I can direct you left and right. You know? <laughs> well, uh, that's, that's the roast of Henry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Uh, uh, it's not a yeah. roast, like yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just facts. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you know you were transgender growing up though? Like is there like a moment like when you were when you were growing up like how did you know? Yeah, uh I was I would use this word realize is because either you are or you're not. So when if I am, then when do I realize it, you know? Like I when I was four years old, I remember I thought I know I was like like I was a transgender already then back then, but I didn't realize it. So I was stealing, you know, my my cousin's panties and I was wearing it you know so I didn't know female male I didn't know what is uh you know gay or, or bisexual I know nothing right. about this it just feels good you know feels yeah. so me it's like uh, uh if I I'm not even comfortable putting a male male clothes on you know like I, right. when I put a female clothes on it felt like wow it's so great it's so me you know I would say you know sometimes uh, when I was younger I, I got turned on with it 
you know, and 19 years old is the is the age I told myself, hey, you know what, I'm going to throw all my male underwear off, only female panties. So that's, that's the time I made. But before before I went to 19, I was in orphanage home because my father died when I was nine years old. So I was sent into the orphanage home and, and in the orphanage home when I as a, as a transgender, you know, I, I do still, you know, girls on one side, boys on one side in the orphanage home. We don't stay together. Right. Right, so they hang their bra outside. Also, if I go there and still, you know, and wear it, you know, when they do spot check, I was in trouble, you know, not in the trouble like they're gonna hit me or what. In trouble, right. it's like I, I was sent to psychiatrist, you know, like hey, you crazy, <laughs> you know, like hey, you you gotta stop this thing. This is not right. It's also, but I don't blame them. This uh, is a psychiatrist, a Muslim, you know. So at the age of nineteen, that's where I stopped wearing uh, male underwear. At the age of 28, uh, on during 19 to 28, I was already wearing on and off, on and off. Like sometimes I do, it takes the balls really dressed up and go outside, <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you know? A lot, a lot of balls, you know? But yeah. lucky when I was in makeup, uh, nobody knew who I was, you know? The greatest balls I have is to walk into a female bathroom in a Muslim country. Ooh. <laughs> it's like yo, it's like worse than Amber Heard prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 28, you know, so I, I told myself, you know what, I'm going to come out from the closet because uh, my happiness is at stake, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this kind of I call, I found when I read about myself, I found out my So this are called feminine energy. When I suppress it, if I don't express myself properly, it, right. it, it turns into depression. You won't right. get a lot of happiness. You, I can pretend dating girls and all that stuff and be happy and dressing up like a male, but end of the day, my I'm giving up my my happiness, right? Over to suit suit into the society. You know, you have to marry a man. You have to marry a girl. You have to dress like a man or something like that. And right. I I felt that you know end of the day it's not me. You know, it doesn't and, feel you know what? comfortable, right? It doesn't feel in you know, right when you're like. You know, lying down on the bed, you just don't feel, you know, at the end of the day, you just want to feel right, you know, whatever you're doing. So I think it's a whole matter of mental comfort. But I, I won't even use comfort. If just comfort, I won't do it because it's not comfortable right. being a transgender in a Muslim country, especially not comfortable at all. You know, like like uh, the way people look at you. Right. Oh, it's not comfortable. I would say it, it, it leads to, you know, com- suiciding. That's how serious it is. Wow. That's why you see a lot of uh, transgender they, they they commit suicide. It's because of this. It it, it right. has a lot of depression when you when you when you stop expressing it. So twenty eight, I really came out. I told myself, fuck all these people because my men, I'm having a lot a lot of you know unhappiness. I'll say it didn't reach to uh, depression, just unhappy. Right. You know, I told myself, you know what, I'm gonna do what I want to do, dress it up, and people start laughing and criti- they start criticizing, and I use that criticize to turn into a joke. You know, in t- it takes balls to remove balls, blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't so, think you're gonna bring that up. <laughs> dude, I love that. I, I love that. It's so right, quick. It's I, like it takes balls to remove balls. I that is her. That. that is her catchphrase. But I must ask you, what is the what are the um uh let's say cons, what are the disadvantages of being uh, a transgender? Like, what are the cons? Like, like in, in like, what are, as a, what do you, what do you feel, what's a no-no for you? From a, you know? When I was traveling in, in, in uh, I was working with this airline, you know, a Muslim airline, I I'm not going to mention this, their name. In that <laughs> country, you know, in that country, it really get a, really get a hit because it's a country law, homosexual is pretty prohibited. Uh, so yeah, I got a few times great warning. I was called into the office, uh, uh, immigration office. Hey, you can't do this and this. Like right? they were really into my personal. They 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 check my suitcase. You know, show off my bra around around the, the other staff laughing at me. You know, That's stuff. fucked up, man. That they just pull that and they just like fucking. They just search as if you have cocaine. That's messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like that. Uh, I be treated once like that, and also you know there are some homophobic people. I don't, I didn't experience them a lot, like like very very mild, like like mm-hmm. very very minimal. But yeah, they will come and tell you, hey, chick with dick. But I only experience them in 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 Facebook a lot, in in YouTube a lot. Yeah, but actually, it's my problem, you know. Until I learn how to control my own emotion, you know what they say, right. they want to say, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I'll <laughs> turn into comedy. 
<laughs> people are gonna hate and i think it just it takes i admire you a lot because it takes so much strength though and i can see how your jokes are so funny because i feel like it's just such real experiences though and I, right what i always enjoy about comedy is that there's so many different comedians and if i get to, if i get to like viewpoint of your world through mm-hmm. your comedy mm-hmm. i feel like that's so special though and i think that's what i get from you though is that like your jokes? Yeah, you got the you got, you got the thick jokes, right? You got the naughty jokes, but you also have some right. like real experiences though, and that's that's why I, I really enjoy. It. And 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 I like the fact that you know it's it's never Thank been you. it's never <laughs> been easy being different, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's never been it's never been easy if you are some you know a different type of person. Like different is always looked as a threat, and especially for the you know LGBT community, you know they they're trying so hard. And it's, it's, it's nice that, you know, when you can just say, fuck all of that and just do what you're doing, you know? So, yeah. which brings me to another question. How is your, uh, you know, how did your family and friends, you know, react to, to this when you, you know, came out? Well, uh, I would say, you know, before, before I go into this, you know, like I would say that's, that's one of the reason why I become comedy as well, because a, a lot of people look at me, you know, wow, who are you? You know, like, what are you? They want to try, they, they want to try to know you, but I can't blame all this fault to normal people like you guys, you know, uh, uh, not you guys, actually, the, the <laughs> not the homophobic people, you know, like I can't blame them. It's just yeah. our fault, you know, we, we are being too sensitive. You call me chick with dick, I'll get angry. You know, but our, I, we should learn how to, you know, how to react. Stop taking the world so seriously. Stop reacting, you know. Like, if you if you call me chick, we think, oh, I know your father slept with me last night, your grandfather too, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah. So, yeah, see, it becomes a comedy, right? Mm-hmm. It becomes a comedy, taking, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, we are taking things too seriously. And that's when the gap started to to. To break off our fault as well like like we we are shielding off ourselves towards you guys you guys want to know us but you can't ask us hey do you still have a dick with you you can't ask this right. question to right, us right, right, right. Right. that's really you know? stupid like you know it's it's like it's like uh, i hate the fact when you uh, people say that they're unaware of of things or you know anything for that matter especially regarding transgender I would disagree only because you have internet, you have the whole World Wide Web, you have information around you. So if you know everything, then why do you ask that you, you as an ignorant fuck? Like, that's the thing. So, so that's the reason it pisses me off. Like, you know, don't, don't tell me that you don't know what you're looking at because you can always look it up and educate. Uh, but I want to ask you, what are the advantages of being a transgender? The advantages like, what, what, what are the pros? Uh, a ve- uh, like very little pros actually like uh, I'm talking to male to female very little uh, pros uh, first thing is I'm very very happy uh, it, it re- you really get to express yourself you know that's the important and, thing yes yeah as a female <laughs> myself I do get you know guys buying me drinks you know before I become <laughs> female, I have to buy those okay, sorry. I'm going I'm going with her to the bar I'm going okay. here <laughs> It was just recently I saw one of your stand-up sets and you talked about your daughter and that was so interesting that I never knew it until you made it. I didn't even do it too. I didn't fucking know. I never knew it. So like, and I think that's so interesting because I think when you do stand-up, right, I don't think that's something that comes up a lot and it it is something that that can be very common though that as transgender can have a a, a child though, right? But I've I've never really seen that and that that kind of connection. So uh, have you like done that joke on, on stage and how people like reacted to that? Yeah, uh, they were shocked, of course. You know, like like uh, uh, answer to to uh, uh, NJD question just now, like how how did my friends and family feel? Mm-hmm. You know, of course, friends. Uh, my family passed away when I was nine years old, so my father did not know that I'm a transgender. Uh, my mom knew a little bit. I was just wearing panties that time. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, not much. They didn't know a lot of it. But yeah, friends were shocked, but they, you know, as soon as they see, I remember I post my first uh, photo on, right. on Facebook. They were like, you know, their, you know, their jaw drops, you know, of course, in the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> damn. Like, damn. <laughs> their jaw drops, my balls drop as well. Yeah. <laughs> It's cool with the balls, man. 
yeah in the beginning you know uh, when i got used to it and then they they also got used to it some of them you know i do still dress like a male as well sometimes they see me hey i thought you changed already is it yeah i'm changing but but you know my meeting you guys sometimes uh, the best thing about being a male you don't have to go out with makeup you know you can just walk true. out jeans t-shirt hair yeah. style something like this um, something like this you know this yeah <laughs> uh, yeah in female you can't do this you know you did this is not acceptable you know like <laughs> yeah pretty uh pretty audio it's like the it was like a chip nail i guess is that or, 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 yeah, no it's like like the, the paint has came off and then i'm paint, lazy paint putting off, it right. around. Yeah. <laughs> only for the people listening <laughs> <laughs> yes female you can't do that and yeah, also yeah. like uh what was your question again like, like uh, uh con the pros right pros of being yeah, pro, a transgender pro. as well mm-hmm. like Oh, very less, I would say. Uh, what else? Happiness. I can express myself. Not much. Cons more like being a female. Oh, right. I will tell you. You know, buying bra and my bra and panties is more expensive than your whole my, my whole <laughs> male T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you shop from? Gucci, Zara. <laughs> <laughs> no, even just even just a normal brand like La Zenza or or or, or Victoria right. Secret. They cost about one one hundred dollars each pair, you know. Dude, that's, <laughs> that's expensive. Ooh, yeah. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, people misunderstood all transgenders are gay. Actually, no, not all transgender. The transgender can be straight. A transgender can be bi. A transgender can be gay. Right? I'm wow. bi, so sure. Yeah. I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that. Mm. Okay. That's why my I, I have a lot of ex girlfriend. I still date girls. I still go out with girls. Yeah. <laughs> And and yeah, the, my my I got when I was in Qatar Airways, I met my ex-wife, you know, and we met, and then I got her pregnant. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. It was an accident, but I took responsibility, and right, that's one of the reasons why I'm in Bangkok. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Why not? You love the person. Why not? Why not? Yeah. So exactly. That's good, man. Like now, now I can say it takes balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a preference, whether guys or girls or both, or how's that? Uh, no, I, I bisexual like like guys. Guys have to approach me really, you know, if they're charming enough. Yeah, I will, I will go with them. Mm-hmm. Some guys are just too so creepy, you know. <laughs> hey, yeah. on sex tonight, like, transgender I don't even know people you. find men <laughs> creepy. Oh, yeah. oh my god, that is such a hate <laughs> on straight people. <laughs> <laughs> No, no I mean, creepy dudes. Yeah, I agree. So, <laughs> but no, I agree, man. Like you know, creepy is creepy. You know, it doesn't really matter what gender you are. You know, like you can be, you know, creepy is creepy. I don't think there should be a label for creepy and just focus on just one type of creepiness. You know, but, but you know what, what is, is it? dude? Uh, here's what I'll say. I think that there's a lot of guys who are creepy, but they don't know that they're creepy though. Like you know, what I like mean? me. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like they, they say things and like they don't know if it's creepy, but I think yeah. if you put yourself in a different situation, you're like, oh yeah, right. that, that's really creepy though. So it's like it's super interesting. So right. um, uh, yeah, when you walk on the street, you know, if, if I don't know that guy and the guy just say, wee wee, wee wee, hey girl, hey chick, you wanna fuck? I know that sounds so creepy, you know, like at least come whistle. and ask I'm not surprised. me. I'm, I'm not surprised because you get the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm not surprised because you get the same thing in India as well. You know, women yeah. are also yeah. women are also treat uh, said that. Uh, you know, it, I don't. I, I see it. I mean, it's it's still happening. So I'm not at all surprised. So you, mm. it's no, it's kind of good. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> it happens in America too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. Yeah, all it all it takes is just hey, come and introduce themselves. Hey, my name is so and so. I like to take your co- co- for coffee. Done. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be you know like bars or expensive stuff and all stuff. When I felt that, yeah, I was like, mm. oh, she's he's charming, you know. I like him. Man. That's yeah, I but but Serene, it's not just any guy though, right? I mean, you can't just have like, it. Can't just be any guy. It's be a guy that you're into though, or or that you like. How do you know that, Kevin? How would you know that if he doesn't doesn't fucking start talking? You know, how would you know that? You know, you should you should wait for the creepiness to land. <laughs> That's good creepy. I'm a good creep. I'm not a creep. creep. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, Serene, what got you into Star Wars? Like, what, what do you what do you like? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> oh, wow, uh, that's that's out of transit oh, well. question. But oh, yeah, well. you want to mix up a little bit. Come on. Uh, yeah, we should. <laughs> like, um, because when I was uh, thirteen, I remember one group of guys. You know, I mean, young young uh, group of people came to us and gave us a free ticket. You know, to order for orphanage home to go to the uh, theater to watch. Uh, Star Wars for free. That was episode right. one, I remember. Yeah. Free? So, you saw episode one for free? Yeah, in the theater. Yeah, they gave us. Oh, wow. uh, that was when I was 13 years old. Nice. Wow, man. So, and what I found out was the Star Wars thing is more philosophy. If you, if you notice episode five, yes. you know, they're very philosophy. So I, I'm into philosopher. When I found out, yeah, what Master Yoda say makes sense, really. You know, like there's. You know, if I want, if I try to remove my balls, yeah. right? <laughs> right? So try not do yeah. or do that. There is no try. <laughs> that is that is the best saying ever. Star Wars is the only thing that you can also make it very dirty, like the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was my favorite joke. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like, do you want to play with my lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> But no more, you will. <laughs> Serene has always been philosophical, even in her jokes. Like I've seen, um, it takes a minute to get the joke, and it not just not just the joke, there's the explanation and the way she says it. I've observed. I only thought that she's philosophical before comedy. Were you philosophical before comedy or during comedy? Uh, before, before comedy. Yeah. Before, before right? comedy. Yeah. Before comedy. Yeah. So, what are the books are you into? Uh, because you're I philosophical, st- so. It started with this one um, called "The Secret Law of Attraction." Mm-hmm. You know, and then everyone was saying this was not working. This is not working, and I tried. Yeah, it didn't really work. Uh, I didn't know what it was until I read the second one called Thing and Grow Rich. Then I found out, oh, that's why it's not working. It's because, you know, we don't know how to do it properly. Right. The method that I used was wrong. I thought, you know, just wake up, visualize, and, and then you get what you want. It's not just visualize. Visualize uh, is, is, is to reprogram. It's like you're making that experience so real. You already right. experience it. It's like, it's like, you know, when you try to reprogram your reach, you know, it's like you grow up from a rich family. That's how it is. Right, mm-hmm. right. So every decision you make is a rich person's decision. Like That's Elon how Musk. it is. <laughs> I won't say that, you know. Uh, rich doesn't mean that you have a lot of uh, money with you. Like, like, like I've seen my friend mentally. at restaurant. You're talking mentally, yeah. Yeah, like, like retire. Do you consider rich? Like you don't have to work anymore and then you constantly no, yeah. every month you yeah, have yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't have to work for money anymore and every month and I'm yeah. getting an income. That's that's so yeah. so rich. You know, yeah. that's it depends on your definition. You know, some people want to be Elon Musk, but you know, they don't have the idea, they work their ass off. By the time they reach the amount they have, right, they're paying to the hospital. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I, this is going to be sounding so stupid, but I'll say, but the only person who, who I know who is rich enough to retire uh, Snoop Dogg and 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, they should retire, which they are not, but you know, but I think. But what no about way. Elon Musk? Elon Musk could retire now if he wanted to. He's not he retire. Know. He's just going to buy stuff. That's it. <laughs> oh, okay. But I don't want Snoop Dogg to retire, man. I want him to like be like eighty years old, still, still spitting bars, like in his with the cane. And everything. <laughs> Come on, man, that'd be dope. I think I could say that I had a different opinion of transgender uh, all my life until I met Serene. Hmm. Like I had no oh, idea. Uh, after I had a different. Uh, perspective of transgender it was just a word and just a very you know that mindset what people cultivate when they don't know about things and they just design something to describe it so that they can make peace with it right in i'm just talking about in india right now because the people of, of india have, have no idea about what transgender is or how they want to respect it it's, it's a struggle but i had a different opinion because of serene and her open mics and the way she spoke and how she did it was a different kind of 
mindset, not just the person, but the mindset. So I think it's it's nice. So it kind of changes. I just want to say that I never got a chance to say it. So thank you, Sari. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, like. I agree. I agree because I don't have any transgender friends. So Serene is the first. I proudly person. say, you will not yeah. believe this. I proudly say to my friends that that you know I have a transgender comedian. I have a trans. I work. I have. A, I, I do open mic and I do shit with transgender comedian in the community. Like I make jokes and get yeah, best believe she makes better dick jokes than me. To be very oh, yeah. honest, that's 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 so, very true. And very she, true. And, and, <laughs> I proudly say when people hear that thing when I'm working, you have your friends and co co working and doing open mics and doing shows with the transgender the same room and they're all together. People like fuck, and they don't have nothing to say because that exposure is not much there in India right now. It's a struggle. I don't, I mean I don't know about other countries. I don't know about USA, but India as well. So I think it's great that people like Serene should actually be more. You know, should actually have more people like Serene. You know, just saying. So that way people get educated, you know. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. I like that compliment. You know, I want to be the bridge between the normal, the, the heterosexual, and and to us the LGBT. Like I can only represent T. I can't speak for the gay. I can't speak for the. Mm-hmm. Uh, only I can only represent T. T also like like you have mm-hmm. three categories, right? You're yeah. the one who just cross dress, and you're the one who who will go taking hormones and change the physical look, but not removing. The thing, mm-hmm. you know, and there's another one that he doesn't want to be identified as fee, uh, male anymore. Like, like right. I'm totally female, you know. Those are the very sensitive ones that, like, you go right, and right, tell right, him, right, right, hey, you're he before, like, he will get very offensive, offended, like, like yeah. I've, I've, so, I've, uh, so, yeah, I've it's seen, like, yeah. Okay, so it's like you know, it comes back to your, respond to your to your uh, <laughs> statement. It's more like you know, in transgender those days, uh, our community, especially in Asia, uh, Asia, most of us yeah. don't get jobs, right? right. If you're transgender, you, you you're son, you you're nearly done by the corporate world. Like nobody will hire. What does that have to do with your profession? That's got nothing to do with your talent. I don't know. Like like fifteen years Who's ago. It? 20 Fucked years up. ago was like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, that's why you find there's a label called all, most of the transgenders are, are, are prostitute. That's why mm-hmm. we were label off, you know, like the minute someone sees a transgender, it's, she's a prostitute. Straight where... people are also prostitutes, FYI. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I like the thing, you know. Gay people are also stru- are prostitutes. FYI, I'm a, everyone's I'm a, I'm a, a prostitute. Everyone's everybody's a prostitute. A prostitute. <laughs> I think I think it's a perfect way to end this podcast here. So, uh, Serene, well, before before we end it, what did we what did we learn? Right. So, no, before uh, that, no, before that, what message you want to give to the true. people? I want I want what message would you want to give to the people of the uh you know the community, not just the transgender community, but just the community of the entire gender based thing. From the from the transgender to the entire thing, what are the message you want to give? From transgender to, I never thought of it like like telling people what to think about us, you know, let it be. But I will say, you know, towards my category, like like transgenders, you know, stop worrying about what people says about us, you know. Be yourself. You're the butterfly. Try not to feed back into the caterpillars. You know, like like <laughs> you, you see yourself as caterpillars. You know, you want to fit. You, you're already the butterfly. You try to fit in back to the caterpillars. So like, right. come on, man. You see, right. it's like we see ourselves as a setback. You know, like it's a, it's a it's a trash to society. Actually, we're not. Yeah, like we. You're not definitely we're not. Just different. Uh, Kevin. Oof. What, what, <laughs> what do you want to say? Oh, I was about to say, hey, what, what did we learn? The, 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 oh, before yeah. we wrap oh, it yeah, up, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what did we learn? Let's let's start with you and Shady. What, what did you learn? No, no, we start with, we start with Serene. We start with right, Serene. Serene. What have we learned today, Serene? What have we learned? Uh, I have I've always had these two good friends, you know, like <laughs> very open. <laughs> very, uh, I, I wouldn't even say friends more than friends. We are comedian buddies, colleague, you know, like, like yeah, we are. We Did are you the cry? Same. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I appreciate it. Wow. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to, I mean, there's going to be a day where I'm going to introduce her into my family. I'm going to do that. I will no, introduce her into, I will, yeah, I'll come to Mumbai. I'm going to fucking introduce it to my mom. I'm going to yeah, do that. Well, well, if if, make, that, if make, that happens, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, perform, perform in your stage, you know, like, mm. yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
poor thing, you know, and Shady bring somebody from Malaysia. Are you sure she's from really? Malaysia? <laughs> she's from Bang Thailand, right? This one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what about you, and Shady? What did you learn? Um, I learned a lot of things. I learned that I learned that people are so stupid when it comes to understanding the uh, the tea community. I I learned that the, that that people uh, need to just get comfortable with who they are and just shut up if you cannot deal with it. Um, and I learned that not uh, not everybody, uh, you know, not uh, you know. You just got to be surprised on who you're going to meet and just, you know, st- stick stick to the loved ones and stick to the people who, who, who match your mindset. Mm. So it's, um, it's it's very informative making meetings. So I, 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 what I learned is I was very enlightened by the LGBT community. That's what I learned. And I'm very happy. That's what I learned. Yeah, about you? I, I learned that there are like different, it, it's, it's not just one type of transgender. It's, there's so much that goes into yes. it. Yes. And it's just so flexible. I didn't even realize it. And I feel like, you know, I mean, we, we don't have enough time, but like I, I would have wanted to maybe even learn more about it. So, I mean, hopefully we can get you on another podcast. So we can Definitely, we have to. Dig deeper into this though, because it's like, there's just so much. And there's so much that we don't know. And yeah. I feel like I've learned so much more just from having you as a friend serene i mean that's for me like because like, like we have it here in america we, we know about it but i think until you actually know somebody like then you start to get to know even more about you know right about, about the community so right um, yeah so, oh, well. uh, oh yeah so I want to say, uh serene where where can people find you to find out more i was about to say that <laughs> yeah they'll find it in bangkok you know in, in <laughs> No! <laughs> social media. <laughs> social media. Come you can't find her in Bangkok, but uh, I'm at social media. Simone <laughs> under, underscore Chong, you know, like S I M O N E underscore Chong. Uh, just add me on, and then you'll find some small little clip that I do. I'm not very active in social media because I, I don't. Wow. I don't want to fix my mind there with all this, you know, my dog step on a bee and stuff like that. <laughs> Did you, you just know, say that? <laughs> <laughs> that was the bad reason, isn't it? Like, oh, wow. Oh, why yeah. do I lay forward? My dog step on a bee. You know, like. <laughs> uh, guys, but um, if you guys comment, guys, before you end the podcast, but yeah, comment down below if you want an episode two with Serene, you know? Yeah. Comment down below, and uh, because I want to go more uh, deeper, wow, in in this topic. But uh, yeah, it's uh, that's it. That's it from my side, Kevin. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. All right, episode ten. Thank you, Serene. Ten. Oh, great wow. episode. You know, follow yes. me back. You know, if we do the next episode, I will tell you. You know, like transgender. How was it like uh, growing in the orphanage home? Like it's more focused on the orphanage home. But a little bit here and there as a trans and see what was it like i'm all excited about it perfect, yeah. perfect. I can't <laughs> wait can't wait so all yeah. right see you guys bye see you guys good night